Good morning and welcome to 8 and 8. One thing I know is there isn't a person listening or watching to the, uh, watching this this morning that I love any more than my daughter, Nellie, who turned 19 yesterday. And as I prayed and journaled about how to bless her for her birthday, I was led to this beautiful scripture in Psalm 1 that describes a person who's like a tree planted by streams of water, which produces its fruit in its season. And then I was led to these powerful fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, patience, peace, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control there in Galatians 5. And I was moved to pray a prayer of blessing over her that those fruits would come through, would be produced through her life. And one final scripture in Romans I've shared with you before, if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, he who raised Jesus will give life to you in the same way that he gave life to, to Christ. Friend, I want you to know that even if you love that list and you would love if your life would produce those kinds of fruits, they're not going to come for you, and they're not going to come for my daughter through her trying to be love, loving and peaceful and patient. And they are the result of a, of a heart that is open to God. And it's his spirit. Hear what Paul says there in Romans 8. It's his spirit that will bear those fruit through you. And so how could you be, how could you experience peace and joy and faithfulness? It is through a heart that is open to God and that allows God to work and move. And that's my prayer for my daughter on her birthday yesterday. It's my prayer for you. It's my prayer for myself that I will open myself to God and let him do his work that only he can do so that those fruit will be produced through the streams of water, which is God's spirit that grows the fruit that God loves to grow in our life. I don't know any song that describes that better than this one. I wish my wife could be here to sing it for you, uh, but I pray this will be a powerful, powerful moment of you opening your heart to God. I hope I can get through this because it's such a powerful song. Take this journey with me. Little stones are smooth Only once the water passes through So I am a stone and grainy still trying to reconcile this river's chill but when I close my eyes and feel you rush Time brings change, and change takes time. And when the sunset comes, my prayer would be just one that you might pick me up and notice that I am just a little smoother in your hand
Sometimes raging wild Sometimes swollen high Never have I known this river dry Deepest part of you is where I want to stay and feel the sharpest edges wash away. And when I close my Time brings change And change takes time And when the sunset comes My prayer would be just one That you might pick me up and notice that I am just a little smoother in your hands rolling river God little stones are smooth Only once the water passes through. Blessed is the one whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season. This leaf does not wither. But whatever they do prospers. The fruit of the Spirit is love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control friend this morning if your heart longs to see that fruit produced in your life would you listen to this verse if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of the Spirit who lives in you.